once upon a time in Loon, Bohol, on an island far, far away called Kabilao, life flows as it always has. The morning silence is broken by the occasional tricycle roaring on the rocky road. And the shuffles of feet as students walk to school. During classes, teachers rely on the sun to shed light on their lessons. Like other remote islands in the Philippines, Kabilao's location makes it almost impossible for its inhabitants to enjoy electricity. As the tide changes, locals fish and harvest their supper. All are eager to retire for the day. Ironically, it is when the sun sets that the small island is illuminated. Thanks to the local generator, the people of Kabilao enjoy electricity in their homes from 5.30 in the afternoon until 11.30 in the evening. While the island sleeps, Charlito, a fourth-year high school student, studies his lessons under the glow of the light bulb. But not for long. The local generator may have been switched off, but within Charlito, the desire to learn burns strong, along with the hope for a brighter future. Across the sea, the city of Cebu wakes up to another busy day. It is home to the Center for Industrial Technology and Enterprise, or SITE. SITE was established in 1991 as a way of alleviating poverty in Cebu by offering vocational courses to young men who could not afford a college education. And in the year 2000, they added Internet Technology, or IT, to the courses they offered. But internet technology was changing and developing at such a rapid pace that in 2002, under the Philippine-German Development Cooperation Program, they requested for an IT consultant from the German Development Service, or DED. Jens Funk, an IT consultant, validated the school's IT curriculum and helped strengthen some of its ongoing projects. We're already doing computerizations for public high schools helping schools uh, go into computerization, but with a focus on content, not just on the infrastructure. One of the projects set up with the help of Jens was the development of e-learning modules, which would be given out free to public high schools in and around Cebu. But this would only benefit schools that already had working computers. Jens felt more could be done. We were sitting together, Roy and me, and then we were thinking about bringing the, the um, IT literacy into other areas than, than just in the urban areas here in Cebu. And so we thought about going into rural areas. and I was sending emails to my colleagues who are working in a lot of parts in the Visayas and one colleague told me to go to Kabilao because they have actually um, high school, they have uh, no power and they have tourists which we really need for the sustainability. And so the remote island of Kabilao was chosen as a site for a pilot project to set up the first solar-powered internet laboratory in the Philippines. With the Kabilao National High School as a project's main partner, 
the project would especially benefit the island students. Okay, it's okay. I mean, I think... The study we here is hard to get the internet because we are hard to get the research of the things we are in assignments. When we give the project to our guru, we are just using the internet in Tagbilaran. The students were too limited in computer literacy skills. But on an island that did not even have regular electricity, it was not surprising that at first, such an ambitious project was met with skepticism. We are here in the city, and we are only here, so I didn't really think that we would have a computer here. I thought that I didn't realize that it's impossible to have an internet cafe in an island. And the skepticism was not limited to the people of Kabilao. Half of my colleagues or friends, they were really thinking that this is a crazy idea. You can never make it running and make the whole project even sustainable. Jens knew the project was possible. They only had to look at the bright side of things, which meant using solar power. But after a year, the island dances to a fresh beat, shaking off all past doubts. Kabilao is unveiled as the home of the Philippines' first solar-powered internet computer laboratory. And a new day has finally dawned on the island. When I came here computer here, I was the first time I was able to help. It will help you as a student because Mapapadali yung computations, tapos yung pag-research sa health, mapadali yung paghahanap namin sa mga bagay na ibinigay na tungkulay na ang aming mga guro. Punta ako sa college, hindi na ako ma-iiwan ma, ma, sa, sa ibang estudyante na marunong mag-computer. The system works by harnessing sunlight using 28 solar panels. This is fed to 24 2-volt batteries which power up the school's six computers. Once the biggest hurdle of finding power was solved, the rest fell easily into place. A satellite dish was installed to enable an internet connection, and the Kabilao National High School was linked to the World Wide Web. I think actually choosing this place was the best possibility we could do because with the mayor, Chu Lopez from Laon, and with the principal, we have so committed partners, they do all the best they can really do. And I can just say it was, it was really nice and excellent working with them. That looks very nice. The local government unit, spearheaded by the mayor, pitched in by renovating the computer room and building the battery house. Everything from, from the financial aspect to the security of the equipment to the cooperation of the community, this uh, would need uh, active support of the local government unit. To ensure that the computers are given proper care, the local government hired a systems administrator to make sure that the computers are up and running. It is my duty to take good care of all the equipment here and if ever there were some technical defects, this my duty is also to solve and then to maintain everything. But a big part of the project's sustainability and success was its tapping into the island's tourist resorts to help with the project. Our idea was sustainability to generate income in any way and that was the idea to use the computer laboratory in the evening as an internet cafe. We have a lot of tourists because we have three dive resorts, so all the tourists using the internet uh, bringing actually the money to the project. In a partnership with the resort owners, the Kabilao National High School sells them a fixed amount of internet coupons monthly which they can give to their guests. It's amazing. I mean, we're out in the middle of like nowhere and they have internet. I mean, we were able to go on and check our daily comics and check email. With this partnership, the winds are blowing in the right direction because after only one year of operation, 
the Internet Laboratory is enjoying smooth sailing. Now, the school earned enough amount that the consulder and that, that the monthly bills and all the responsibilities in the sustenance and maintenance of the, our computer laboratory in the Internet Cafe. The school is all charged up, and it's not just because of the solar energy. During the school year 2003-2004, the students were subjected to special achievement test. This school ranked number 82. When this uh, project started, the result last March 2005, this school ranked number 34. So, academic performance, it shows big difference. It is now soaring higher. It, it's, it brings pride to, to the community. It is also good to share the, the experience to, to others who would like to learn about this project. Actually, we can say, I think it was a whole, the whole year was a big success. More Monthly meetings are held by the island's Solar Power Committee, represented by all partners, as a venue for updates and suggestions that ensure the success and sustainability of the project. I'm definitely confident because after one year we can already say that we have reached more than we were expecting. So the school has generated more money than we were expecting, so that makes me really confident that it will stay sustainable for the next years. Another discovery after a year of operation was that a large number of locals were also using the Internet Cafe services. So mayroon di mga matatanda na na mayroong mga kamag-anak dun sa ibang bansa din. They will come here to send an email. Instantly communicating with people outside their island through the use of computers was an activity they would never have dreamed possible. Kami pang nag-aral dito sa isla, wala kami internet. Malaking tulong yan sa mga kabataan namin. Kasi ngayon, sa elementary, sa high school, marunong na sila mag computer so it's it's really exciting because uh, but we also thought that uh, wow this is a big uh, step for them because from no electricity to connections to the internet which is exactly what kid in public high schools in the city will have and this kid in Kabila will have exactly the same thing so I see the real democrat democratizing power of IT working makes me kind of, of happy if I see that happy faces. So I have the feeling we have really done something which with quite big impact for the whole island. Nurtured from a simple idea, with the help of a strong and committed local partnership, and tapping into the island's diving tourism, one isolated island's dream of connecting to the rest of the world has become a reality. <laughs> so as long as the sun keeps shining on this island, the people of Kabilao will certainly live happily ever after.